Well, Morgan Stanley Asia's chairman Stephen Roach is live right now on Bloomberg Radio with Tom Keen and Ken uh, and Ken Pruitt uh, and also Ken Fisher of Fisher Investments uh, talking about the market rally. Let's uh, take a listen. Dow futures up 357. We welcome all of Bloomberg Television. Betty Lou, good morning uh, with us, Stephen and, and Ken. I guess two, two, two questions for you. Ken, you reaffirm your purchase of international securities, and I know you've got some in China that you like a lot. Uh, China, Asia in general, they are today effectively what America was 100 years ago relative to the world, and in that regard, it's really impossible to be an investor and not at least have that mindset in your brain focused and thinking globally first. You can't think globally and not include Asia in that. So my next question for Steve actually would be that same question for getting China but thinking about the rest of Asia, uh, engines like South Korea, when you look at the other portions of the Pacific Rim and then come back also and think of the big block, which is often sort of separate, which is Japan. How do they react to all of this? Well, Ken, uh, Korea is in, in terrific shape. I think of all the economies uh, in East Asia, Korea did probably the best job of uh, going through the subprime crisis. But, you know, now we're going from crisis to crisis. So, you know, they're, they're, the, the pace is coming fast and furious. But Korea is a tough, competitive economy. Uh, they, they, they really focus a lot on the, the interplay between R&D and their export mix. They're very much hooked to China, less dependent on the West. And so as China goes, that'll be very important for Korea. China's changing its model, I think, somewhat over the next several years, moving more toward internal demand, alternative uh, energy, and green technologies. Korea is very positioned, to, uh, well positioned to benefit from that. Steve, how does, how does this differ from the 98 crisis? If we start with the idea, which has been a theme of the show this morning, we're essentially kicking the can down the road. We went from private debt to public debt. Now we've gone in Europe to a Eurozone debt, a new invention. Uh, that, that is, we cleared the markets in 98, didn't we? Why can't we do it here? Tom, first of all, the crises are coming with greater frequency. Over the last 25 years, we've had an average of one crisis every three years. The, the gap this time is 18 months. The scale is bigger. This is much a much more serious problem in the Eurozone than it was uh, during, during the late 90s with the Asian financial uh, crisis. And we've got the interplay in the last 18 months between cross-border contagion from subprime to mm -hmm. mortgage-backed securities back to cross-border uh, contagion uh, within the Eurozone. So this interplay between cross-border and cross-product contagion is very, very difficult to unravel. Ken, another question for Steve? Well, again, going back to your points about South Korea and internal demand, m my sense has been that, f for example, uh, consumer durable purchases are rising at a pretty rapid rate. Are you seeing that same trend in other non-Chinese, non-Japan, Pacific Rim countries as well? Well, look, uh, Ken, uh, uh, you know, Asia's got the, the message here. The, the external demand support to the export machines is going to be in trouble uh, post-crisis. That's the message from the American consumer. It's now the message from the European consumer. So these countries have to turn inward. And, and are they, in your opinion, doing that successfully? It's, it's, it's early in the game. Uh, for the Chinese economy, consumption still below 40 percent of, of GDP for the rest of the region. That number is <clears throat> maybe in the low 40s. For Korea, it's a little bit higher. For India, it's a mm. lot higher. But, uh, you know, these are economies that need to focus a lot more on internal private consumption in the years ahead, and they know that. Oh, let's, uh, thank you to Betty okay, well, that was Stephen Roach, the chairman of Morgan Stanley Asia, and also Ken Fisher of Fisher Investments, talking with Tom Keen on Bloomberg Radio.